Do you know what you should be doing in your new home before moving in? I'll give you five things that you must take care of, clean, whatever, before you move in. One of them shocked the heck out of me, and I know it will you too. Welcome back. I'm Steve Reese, a realtor in the Oklahoma City metro area, specifically the suburb of Shawnee, just east of Tinker Air Force Base. I run the SoldOnShawnee.com real estate and community blog, and I'm deeply involved in the advocacy of property rights through the local, state, and national associations of realtors. And on this channel, I tell you everything you need to know about relocating to the Oklahoma City metro area. So, you're getting ready to close on a new house in a few days. Did you know that there are some things that you need to do before moving in? So unless it's a brand new construction, and even then I would uh, proceed with caution, you've got to do a few things to protect yourself from just general dirtiness and also from evil germs. My advice has always been to uh, always change the locks for your safety. Uh, you never know where uh, keys are and how many that have been given to friends and neighbors and uh, uh, friends of your children or whomever. Um, so always replace the locks. Um, call the locksmith for that. I've got uh, resources for that on my website. I'll put a link down in the, in the show notes. Show notes in the description and then also replace the toilet seats you just want your own funk on there nobody else's so replace the locks and the toilet seats um, some of you uh, may know uh, depends on how much experience you have in uh, buying a seller real estate the seller is only expected to leave their house in broom clean condition there are going to be very varying levels of, of cleanliness that sellers will leave their home. It might be swept out and, and just kind of left that way. Some sellers might even hire a professional house cleaner or do a really good job of cleaning it ahead of time for you. Some may not even uh, do a very good job of, of leaving it in broom clean condition. Nevertheless, you want it to be as clean as possible when you move in. So part of what I would ask you to do, just for your own protection, uh, there could be five things on the list here. Starting at the top, the ceiling fan blades. Y'all, there could be uh, layers of dust that you can't see, or maybe you can see because they're hanging off, but you want to clean the, the uh, the fan blades they'll spread around uh, germs and dust that might have stuff on there you don't even want to think about uh, also it would knock things off of upper cabinets and uh, clean those those uh, fan blades if there's a refrigerator in the house you want to clean that really well with vinegar or whatever you use to disinfect they're probably uh, commercial things out there for that but clean out the refrigerator really well that's a that's a hotbed of, of germs in there the carpets I would consider hiring a professional carpet cleaner and I've got some in that uh, list on the resources page of my website um, at the very least vacuum them really well with a good vacuum cleaner change the the um, I'll dump out the the dustbin of that vacuum really well maybe uh, rent or buy a shampooer to shampoo the carpets yourself there's god knows what in those carpets and um, if you all are going to really be comfortable and and you know on the floor watching a movie or just you know living in your home the way you want to you want those uh, those carpets to be really clean um, again, there are several really good, actually, there are a couple of really good um, carpet cleaners in the Shawnee area, um, many in the Oklahoma City area, uh, I can hook you up with. Bathrooms. You really want to get the bathrooms clean. Like I said, replace the toilet seats, but scrub every surface around there in the sinks, in the, in the drawers where you might put your, your toothbrush. There might be a way that uh, people have brushed stuff up against the underside of the of the drawers. Just any surface that you can think of that might touch your stuff, get it clean and disinfected. 
this last one shocked the heck out of me and it and it came to me by accident and it's the reason why i'm recording this video for y'all today that is a dishwasher so i had noticed that our dishwasher hadn't been cleaning as well as it had uh, in the past and I know this to be true, but I just really didn't think about it because we're, we're pretty clean people. And so I thought, but obviously our dishes aren't that clean when they go in sometimes. And y'all, there's some stuff at the bottom of the of the dishwasher that is going to be dirtier than you ever imagined. And I was shocked. So there's a there's probably a, a turnaround thingy at the bottom um, that just pulls out. Um, there's some things down in the in the bottom of the of the dishwasher basin that come apart and come out. And then there was this big screen that uh, that came out that looked like a, the size of a platter. Pull that out. Oh my gosh, y'all. I, I don't know what's kept us out of the hospital. That was pretty dirty in there. So I washed all those parts um, in the little, I don't know what to call it, the turnaround thingy. Um, I was rinsing that out and then the little holes that, that spray up, I was rinsing through those, all sorts of funk was falling out. Ugh, I was mortified. And so got all the, the parts clean and uh, with hot water and some vinegar, I was um, scrubbing out in the where all that stuff fits into in the bottom of the dishwasher, um, put everything back in and ran an ultimate scrubber <laughs> with sanitized setting and everything on the on the dishwasher just as long as and hot as I could get it to go. Put in one of those little uh, disc things that you can buy at the grocery store or Amazon and uh, also just dumped in some other cleaner stuff because I wanted it really clean and ran that through. It took about an hour for that cycle to run through and got the dishwasher pretty clean and put dishes back in there and ran that through. Everything's pretty clean this time. So that just that just shows that what's what's washing your dishes might just might not just be today's water it might be yesterday's the day before's and whatever food and funk that just gets trapped in the in the dishwasher that needs to be cleaned out y'all you don't want other people's funk washing your dishes okay so that's the five things that I have uh, that are tips for taking care of before you move into your new home. Do you have any others? Put them below in the comments and I promise to answer all of them. All of your comments I want to I want to hear from and I will respond. All right, you all, that's all for this time. I'd be honored if you subscribe to my channel, like this video if you found any of the information useful. It helps my videos show up for others and I'll see you in the next one.